from a graduate perspective, someone who just wants to learn, someone who's very ambitious, someone who has um, who wants to succeed and go further in their career. Persistence. I feel like you just got to keep on applying. You got to just push yourself. There's always jobs out there, so the right one will be there for you. It's some um, individuality. Because the process is so competitive to qualify, there are loads of people applying in lots of applications. So you really need to set yourself aside from everyone else. And um, whatever particular experience you can bring to it, that will help you stand out. Maybe against what you might expect, do I want someone who's got a first and actually is maybe the cleverest person in the world? Not necessarily. Um, I want someone who's bright enough, but actually in an interview situation, I want someone that can talk to me. So some work experience is usually beneficial, um, whether it's been an internship, voluntary work, or just some work experience during weekends or um, summer holidays. Um, also good technical skills, as well as kind of skills like good communication, problem solving, someone with initiative, so we're always looking um, to employ people who can kind of improve processes at work. I always, always suggest people do as much work experience as they can. Can. Personally, I kind of, you know, all throughout university back in the US, I was able to intern and had a lot of great opportunities. And I started out having no idea what I wanted to do. But through that work experience, I was really able to hone in on the skill set that I had and realize what I could ultimately do with that. One of the first questions that I always ask in an interview is, what do you know about us? And it's really surprising the number of people that are a bit stumped because they don't know or they might get you confused with somewhere else that they've interviewed and for me that's a real turn off um, so um, another thing that might put me off perhaps is like the presentation of a CV um, because I've always been told that you've got 20 seconds to actually look at something and if it doesn't draw you in then you just get turned off by it so first impressions are really important so I would say to students to make sure that their CV and portfolio is presented in the best way that they can. I don't want something that's three or four pages long because you can go over the top uh, but at the same time um, I think it just needs to I think it needs to be a little gateway into that person and not just about the academic achievements I was talking earlier on uh, about a young lady who's doing some work in, in the alum alumni side here I think I'm trying to get a rounded person who's going to come and join our team that someone can believe in trusted and what you want there is a little few more strings to their bow. So, so rather than just academic success, you know, what other things are we doing? Do we hold down a part-time job? Does that hold responsibilities? Uh, do I do some charity work? Um, you know, what responsibilities do I have in my family situation, etc. So I think I'm trying to get the measure of a person overall. So I, I think I would always say to be looking, when you're at a career fair like this, or just looking for jobs, not necessarily to get stuck right into what you think you want to do, but to be willing to look a little bit open and see sort of what's out there and find a company whose culture really fits for you.